Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video on my YouTube channel, which will show you how you can create a really simple but effective morphing, pulsating, glitching material that you can then apply in your levels. So this is an effect that you probably know from a range of games like for example Control or from movies like The Matrix where you have that effect of a material kind of constantly moving about, glitching, having this automorphing process that is almost like a water ripple coming over it. Now to do that first we'll create a new material, right click and choose a material that we are going to call morph. We're going to edit it and first we're going to set the base color. To do that we're going to add a constant 3 vector. And to stay in line with that, let's say matrix theme, we're going to move it into kind of a domain of a greenish tint. So something like this. Ah, this is okay. So we have that neon green and now we're going to create for the world position offset a set of nodes that are going to provide it with that wobble or movement or glitch effect. First we're going to create a panner. Panner basically moves the same material and we're going to create two of these. First is going to move across the coordinate of X where we're going to set 0 0.2 and we're going to select that and then we're going to do the same for speed Y again same speed so we have two panners moving in unison from here we're going to add a multiply node and we're going to set it to let's say 0 0.2 as well we're going to copy this node and connect it to the other panel. From here we're going to add a texture node or a texture sample. Here it is. And we can basically choose any texture here. I'm going to go with some kind of a tiled option. Let's say it's ceramic tiles. And we're going to again copy the same node here. We're going to connect it to the other process of panning. And to combine these, we're simply going to add an add node, <laughs> which will combine the two sequences into a singular process. So to do that, we're going to add an add <laughs> that we're going to connect to both of these and we're going to do the same for the other texture sample and finally we're going to add another multiply node which will basically control these so right now let's set it for example to 30 and we have our setup ready to go. Now we have to connect it to the world position offset and simply save and wait a few seconds for Unreal Engine to compile all of it and present it hopefully in a moving, wobbling, pulsating, morphing type of a material. The same should then emulate things like control and other additional stuff. So right now this is really weird <laughs> and there is too much of it or too little. So I'm going to add or decrease the amount here. I'm going to decrease this to 0 0.4 and again this to 0 0.4 as well. And I'm going to set this to 50 and then I'm going to save and we'll see what the results are. So right now we have a morphing material, it's pretty weird 
but we want to kind of have it moving faster and set it into a more compact process right now again too much so let's see if the speed can be decreased here or let's say that we increase the speed to 0 0.54 and again this to 0 0.4 as well and we're keeping this to 0 0.4 and we can add this to let's say 70 again we're going to go with save and we're going to watch the results and hope they are a little less random and more more compact and there are with the weird so let's try and choose a different type of a material uh, let's go for like for example uh, let's say cut stone and here as well and see if that gets the result that we're looking for cut stone and cut stone again save and we're going to wait for the results these materials are basically the things that the panner uses to kind of get its effect even though it's going through the same base color so the color will remain the same however the process should become more of a glitch and here we have it uh, it's the thing that we're looking for but we're going to now decrease it to let's say 40 again and we're going to place these to 0 0.3 and again 0 0.3 as for the speed we're going to put it back to 0 0.2 as you can see there is a lot of tweaking like this involved but it should be a more complex and precise result in terms of what we're looking for as that matrix or control effect of reality not being actual reality and it's saving it's processing it will soon present it and there you have it this is basically the same thing you saw in control a lot cheaper <laughs> than the control itself but the effect is there so let's see it in the game itself we're going to elevate it so it's more visible and let's try it out and we're in the game and here it is as you can see the whole mesh is kind of breaking down moving but if we move back a bit it's that kind of reality is not true reality effect and it looks pretty pretty de decent at least in my view but of course you can go back and experiment further with it here try different textures try different material uh, settings in terms of banner and of course uh, how much of it through the last multiply node so there you have it that was this short unreal engine beginner tutorial video showing you how you can create this morphing moving effect on your materials hopefully you found this video interesting hopefully you found it useful if you did please consider supporting me through a range of possibilities i have my patreon page where you can send me your monthly donations that keep going uh, help me to keep going and kept in processing all of the things i need to do for this channel and make it so so your monthly donations are more than great if you can spare them i also sell books on amazon you can send me money through paypal through crypto through whatnot but of course the easiest and simplest way to support me is to do nothing more but to subscribe and be for my new videos right here that's all for me, my name is Ivica, thanks so much for watching once more, have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.